Welcome to mobile application tutorials. My name's Nigel. We have a new Kotlin tutorial series and this is introducing the camera to API. The main intention of this series is just to get the preview display working on your device. In the first episode we introduce you to the code base which is based on a previous tutorial series about Android fragments. We introduce you to this code and show you around the code and then in the second portion of this tutorial we actually set up a texture view and get that configured and enabled by using its callback. We then move across to installing and using the Easy Permissions API for an Android Marshmallow 6.0 and later you need to implement runtime permissions for dangerous permissions and the camera has to, happens to be one of those dangerous permissions. Once the user has granted runtime permissions for the camera we can then use the camera manager. We need to use the camera manager to get hold of the camera characteristics and this will allow us to find the camera ID for the rear facing lens and if you wanted to enable the front facing lens as well you'd need to find the camera ID for that as well. Once we know the camera ID we can then make a connection to the camera device and to make a connection we do need to use the camera device state callback listener and once that's completed we should have successfully opened the camera device. And once we've opened the camera, we can then set up our camera capture session and start our capture requests. And in this tutorial, we're going to capture the result from the rear camera and display it to the texture view. The next tutorial is for members on the professional plan. And in this tutorial, we're going to be implementing a switch on the navigation drawer, which allows us to switch between both lenses. For example, from the rear lens to the forward lens, and then back again. The final episode is also for members on the professional plan. And in this episode, we'll be replacing the texture view with a surface view. And the reasons why you might want to do that is for Android 7.0 and later, the Surface View does add optimizations in the form of power saving. This tutorial series is to set up mainly as an introduction to the camera to APIs, and we only get the preview working here, but the main intention is to introduce you to the core concepts of the camera to API. There will be following episodes where we will be doing video capture and image capture, and potentially using other parts of the camera to API as well. Currently, the Create Texture View episode is available now on the site, and it will be released to YouTube at the end of the week. And then these episodes are going to be released on a weekly basis. But you do have the option of getting all the episodes right now, including the premium tutorials, for the one-off fee of 10 US dollars. And that concludes this introduction. I do hope you enjoy this series. Bye for now.